Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm getting ready to take down these uh, wooden panels on the, the roof and the side. I'm gonna start on the side because I gotta get all of this out. It's too bad because it would be nice just to leave it, use it, but ain't gonna happen. I got, I got my trusty uh, pry bar here and I'm gonna start prying this stuff off because it's not screwed on, it's done by brad nails. Somebody had a one of those electric or uh, nail guns with the uh, nail brads. So I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna do a time lapse through this so y'all can uh, see what I'm doing. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. guys I don't know if you can see these little brad nails in this wood plank but getting ready to uh, take this all out ceiling and everything Some of this stuff is stuck to these, this form stuff. In this morning light, I'll tell you all you need to know. There's the little brad nails I was talking about. You gotta be careful of those where they fall. Well, I got one side of the wall off. That's good. Uh, that was the easy side. <laughs> got the other side. Another one. Because I'm getting two at a time here.
I'm gonna have to go take those curtains down. That's nice. I gotta take this trim right here off. Get the rest of this wood out because it's screwed into the wood here. These lights here have a little spring you fold back and that's how you insert them in and take them out. Well, my battery died on the uh, DJI Osmo Action 3. <laughs> so I'm going to take lunch. This is beating the crap out of me, even though I'm almost finished. I'm still going to take lunch. I'm tired. I'm going to change the battery out and go fix me something. I got some food from Kroger's last night. I'm going on my lunch break, Mr. Krabs. You got five minutes. Wow! One more minute than yesterday. Well, after my uh, lunch and my 30-minute nap, I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> I got cold off. And I'm back out here at the van. I'm going to see if I can finish taking all this down. That's the goal today, anyway. So, uh, let's see what else we finish. I missed a couple of screws up here uh, to see if I could just take the whole thing down. Uh, if not, I'll have to do some more screws on the uh, cross members. I figured this was uh, going to be a pretty big job and take me most of the day, which it has.
just got this tool first time I used it works great I'm gonna try to see if I can pull this down as one piece may happen Looks like I'm gonna have to do these cross members off too, because it's not coming down. Bummer. I was walking out one evening late. The moon was rising. Headed for the river's side Around this fuss and fight Knock the camera down Whoops Patrol man, he walked by Asked me where I'm going Said if the sun set on me there I'd never make it home They said don't go downtown tonight There's trouble on the rise The Batman in the shadows And the bound to take you life you mind Well I got all the wood down And out That'll make uh, Fiberine happy because I was supposed to not have anything set up up here. So now I'm going to take these windows covers and take these window things out because this side and the other side is where the window flare or popper and that other window right there is going to be open. So at least most of it will be. And that will let light in automatically. So I'm gonna take those things out, clean up the wires, put ceiling cover back on back there, and let's see how it goes. I'll tell you how I do. Keep your money in your pocket, then the razor your shit. Slipping silent through the creek Hounds to lose my sin. I went up a tree and I watched them turn, wondering where I went. I believe this cable right here is the backup cable. Now, this is a mess of wires, which I have no idea where they go. I can run some, these look like they've been added right here. Run those down and see what I can find out about that. Gonna get that screw out, that piece of wood there off. But I'm gonna call it a day after I get all these wires tucked up and that other window on the uh, console back up. This red wire also ends here and I don't know where it goes. <laughs> it goes all the way back up to the front. This here looks like speaker wire, so I'm not sure if it is or isn't. We used to be pretty sure speakers back here in the corner on each side and they're not there anymore but there are new speakers in the front door panels get all these wrapped up until i figure out what they are those have been cleaned up and tied up those have been cleaned up tied up now I'm going to tape them up against the ceiling 
for right now. Pounds to lose my sin. I went up a tree and I watched them turn, wondering where I will. I take a rest, I hold my breath, I let it simmer down. I climb too high in my wandering eye, despite the lights of town. Guys, it took most of the day to get out this van here. You can see that. So it's uh, all ready for fiber rain and everything. Me doing all this stuff is really, really important to me because I've been riding, as y'all know, for the last six years, uh, raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son. I would be grateful if you go over to Riding for a Cure dot com and make a donation all that money goes straight to the American Diabetes Association in looking for a cure and you have a little bit of extra money in your pocket it would be grateful if you uh, click the join button down below or go over to my patreon account yeah. sign up doesn't cost you much uh, about a dollar to five dollars a month if you would like uh, that would be greatly appreciated. I do get a little bit of money from YouTube, so if you subscribe and watch my videos, of course they only pay for uh, uh, views, but it will certainly help. Catch you on the road here in Richland Hills, Texas with the new Riding for a Cure van and my trailer and my motorcycle. How do y'all all start riding here? I am uh, construction. <laughs> How do y'all